ट्रायंगल ऑफ फैक्टर्स इफ यू रिप्रेजेंट टू वैक्टर्स एज द साइड्स ऑफ ट्रायंगल इन ऑर्डर इन दिस वे then this will be closing side of the triangle so the vector which is opposite to this one will represent the resultant and uh, suppose if the angle between these two vectors is theta same way so we have to calculate uh, resultant value resultant value means like this or this one so if it is c bar so c equal to under root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and uh, angle made by this resultant with a vector is alpha so tan alpha is equal to b sin theta by a plus b cos theta some teachers prefer to explain the addition of two vectors to calculate magnitude of resultant and to calculate the direction of uh, resultant of addition of these two vectors they prefer triangle of vectors to explain to derive and re explain this one and i prefer the parallelogram of vectors and uh, one more thing is extension of this suppose if three forces keep the object in equilibrium which acts in the same plane then we can represent those three forces as sides of triangle that is this is c bar i am not uh, actually we have to write at this end but uh, we can't uh, you can't see that's why i am drawing this arrow in the middle of this line so in this case what i can write let me take this as a d bar so d bar is equal to d bar plus a bar plus b bar is equal to zero bar so we'll keep the object in equilibrium then we can uh, take those three vectors as sides of triangle in order that means minus d bar is equal to a bar plus b bar so minus d bar means this one minus d bar so this is equal to c bar but c bar is equal to a bar plus b bar so same you are going to get and one lamis theorem here having suppose three forces which acts in the same plane can keep the object in equilibrium then only we can apply the lamis theorem p vector and its magnitude is p q vector its magnitude is q r vector its magnitude is r and the opposite angle is alpha this angle is beta for this here it is gamma then we can write p by sin alpha is equal to q by sin beta is equal to r by sin gamma this is lamis theorem and it is applicable only when three forces acts on the body and should keep the body in equilibrium position means resultant of these three vectors is equal to zero then and then only we can apply the lamis theorem so magnitude of p vector by sin alpha is equal to q by sin beta that is equal to r by sin gamma but mostly while solving problems very less uh, cases we can we will apply this lamis theorem because in physics we are going to have more number of forces which acts on the body and keep the body in equilibrium position so more than 3 means we can't apply this lamis theorem that's why we go for resolution of those forces into components and uh, in particular direction resultant of uh, component of forces will make it equal to zero that method we are going to follow and uh, another method 
to add the two vectors and the calculating its resultant vector and its direction is analytical method or resolution of a vector into components method in this we are having two parts so depending on asking question the first part is in this part he is going to give magnitude and the direction of a vector and we have to find the components of a vector and vector form see to start this part let us have small knowledge as i told you if you know the vector just to divide with its magnitude you will be going to get unit vector unit vector means its magnitude is equal to 1 suppose if you know this magnitude and a unit vector also if you multiply these two you will be getting a vector quantity and here i cap is the unit vector along x axis and j cap is the unit vector along y axis k cap is the unit vector along z axis these are fixed so you can remember this uh, suppose if the question is magnitude of velocity is equal to 5 meter per second and it makes an angle 37 degrees with positive x axis that is anti clockwise angle y axis x axis minus x minus y and this vector that is v bar magnitude of v bar it makes an angle theta theta is equal to 37 degrees now you drop perpendiculars onto x axis from both initial and final points of a vector then you can call this as x component same way you can drop perpendiculars onto y axis from both the final and initial points onto y axis so the distance between those two perpendiculars is called y component but this is exactly equal to this one so let me take this as x component so vx this is y component so it is vy and this length is magnitude of a vector quantity that is modulus of v bar now we have to calculate components first cos theta is equal to you can write adjacent by hypotenuse so what is x component modulus of v bar cos theta and same way sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse so y component is equal to modulus of v bar sin theta i have calculated x component of a vector that is modulus of v bar cos theta or v cos theta vy is equal to modulus of v bar sin theta so i have calculated the components x component and y component now we have to go for vector form vector form so how to get this vector and how to get this vector so that i can calculate this vector that is v bar as i told you if you multiply the magnitude with unit vector you will be getting vector so along x axis along x axis the magnitude of a vector is vx component is vx and what is the unit vector along x axis i cap so if you multiply this magnitude with the unit vector you will be getting vector so vx i cap is the vector along x axis so i got one a vector component now this is vy along y axis the unit vector is j cap so if you multiply this vy with j cap you will be getting one more vector and we know this is v bar so first vector second vector second vector initial point coincide with the final point of first vector so some of these two vectors will give you 
v bar so v bar is equal to what you can write v x i cap plus v y j cap but v x is equal to modulus of v bar cos theta plus modulus of v bar sin theta here i cap is there right so i cap here it is j cap that's all so i have calculated vector form but modulus of v bar is 5 meter per second into cos theta theta is 37 cos 37 degrees i cap plus 5 sin 37 j cap degrees that is equal to cos 37 is 4 by 5 4 by 5 5 5 cancel so 4 i cap plus 5 sin 37 is 3 by 5 5 5 cancel so 3 j cap that is 4i cap plus 3j cap is the vector form of velocity. One more example let us see. x axis, y axis, minus x axis, minus y axis. Suppose the vector is given here. Its magnitude is equal to 4 units. let me take it is a now it makes an angle 30 degrees with the negative x-axis so we have to calculate a bar how to calculate a bar you drop two perpendiculars from both initial and final points on the x-axis this is called x component again this is y component so that is equal to this one and from sin 30 opposite edge by hypotenuse so opposite edge is 4 sin 30 adjacent edge is 4 cos 30 now you know magnitude of x component now we have to go for vector i cap is unit vector along positive x axis so along negative x axis it is minus i cap so the vector is minus 4 cos 30 i cap and it is along positive y axis so plus j cap so a bar is equal to what you can write minus 4 cos 30 i cap plus 4 sin 30 j cap so you can simplify it but i have observed many students are habituated for this one vector a bar is equal to a x i cap plus a y j cap so this vector is in second quadrant second quadrant means x component is negative y component is positive so x component is 4 cos 30 so it is negative that's why minus 4 cos 30 i cap and y coordinate is positive y component is positive y component is 4 sin 30 so 4 sin 30 j cap for which they are habituated anyway writing vector form is very important for us suppose if you take one more example it has magnitude some 10 units and it makes an angle 45 degrees okay every time we are uh, taking angle made by the vector with x axis now why don't i take uh, with uh, y axis so 45 degrees minus y minus x so you can drop perpendicular onto y axis this will be y component on the x axis this will be x component so this is same as this one so from this right angle triangle adjacent edge is 10 cos 45 and opposite edge is 10 sin 45 so it is in fourth quadrant fourth quadrant is y is negative x is positive so let me take this vector as some s bar so sx i cap plus sy j cap so x is positive this is x coordinate 10 sin 45 i cap and y is negative so minus 10 cos 45 j cap in this way i am going to write down the vector for i am going to calculate the 
components. So any vector whose magnitude is given and its direction is given, then we can calculate the components and vector form.